Christmas at the Barn, unique shopping, antiques, vintage, and crafted items. Address is 7268 Herring Road in Masontown, West Virginia. Thursday, November 7th to Sunday, November 10th, 12 p.m. to 8 p.m., then on Sunday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. This is a road that takes you to Christmas at the Barn. It comes up a hill. The entrance to Christmas at the Barn. We have a Grinch to greet us. Oh, be careful. I'm high center about halfway across. <laughs> <laughs> Big snowman. To the right side is where you enter. It says enter here. Over here you can smell the barbecue. Mountain State Barbecue. To the left is where you check out at. That way. You pass by the goodies as you check out. And when you buy something, you bring it over here. And they give you a number, and then you can keep bringing stuff and stack it up until you're ready to check out if you have too much to carry. You can smell the popcorn and buy popcorn. Gonna enter the building we usually do last. Pa wants to go check for something in here first. Lots of things. Cabinets full of full of all kind of things. Candles, anyone? A working farm transformed into a vintage Christmas village over a four day period. How was the crowd when it first opened? It was good. Good? Was good. Yeah. And how was it? Uh, Very good, nice crowd, beautiful day, everything. Lots of unique, never before seen items here. Lots of bee products, me and my bees. It all started in Point Marion, PA in 1995 with six friends in a tiny shed. Each year it got bigger and bigger. In 2015, it moved to Masontown, West Virginia to Brenda and Roger Street's 350 acre farm. In 2016, it transformed from Christmas at the Cabin to Christmas at the Barn. The Grinch is at the bar. Bar items? Quartz. Hello, Grinch. There's a baby Grinch. Owls. They have name tags on the tags of the person that makes them or sells them. There's beautiful scenery everywhere you look. It's Hallmark. It's like a movie. In the middle is a gazebo. You get pictures taken. All the lights are on. It's the perfect time of night. Music playing, people sitting around enjoying, shopping. You can smell the popcorn big time. This is where you come to the bathroom. Very, very, very nice bathrooms. Men's and women's. Famous sign that says eat here. And you go that way. Look at the Griswold display. Photo opportunity. In an outhouse. Candles are lit. Did you say Paul? <laughs> Paul likes the pallet tree. The Griswold photo moment. Tool shed. Picnic bench for the squirrel. More owls from the movie. There's their luggage. Here's a hot dog. Mobile food wagon. Kind of menu, a large menu. Very large menu. Hamburger, cheese, burger, hot dog. And if you're feeling like barbecue, here's the barbecue. This is always a neat barn to enter. Lots of antique and hard to find things. You'll find it here. Found some more rolling pins. Found another owl. You 
can even buy a fireplace, I think. Now that's cool. It says Junkins Band Fairmont. They look very, very vintage. Check for cash only due to limited service at the farm. There's an ATM available on site. It's as you enter or where you're checking out at in that section. 350 for the cabinet with all the drawers. License plate, anybody? Several buildings and each has a theme and a style located around the farm. Entering one of the other buildings. The bee happy section. More bee stuff. Books. Some mountaineer items in frames. Coca-Cola. Little Christmas ornaments. Or Christmas ornaments. Nutcrackers. My favorite part is this little outshed. Trees on this side. Campfire going if you're cold or want to sit around, get warm. Mail pouch tobacco. Photo opportunity. Another neat little building. We're going to see what's in here. Some treats are in here. Caramel popcorn. Little bottles. Maple syrup. There's the popcorn. I said the chicken is made out of a tire. Now that is cool. Thank you. In this section are some canned. Some jams. We'll start made from. <laughs> Spruce knob. Several stations of popcorn. Different colors, different flavors. This is the building. It's like the white building. Things in it are white. Very white. Very awesome. It smells really good too. White stockings. It's Stephanie's favorite room. Found the famous bathtub with soaps. Alfredo. Stephanie found a tree with donuts. Big nutcrackers, $150. Come to another room. Cozy looking coats. Merry Christmas t-shirts. Lots of outerwear and coats. Hats. Sweatshirts. Hooded shirts, a gift for that hunter. For $55. A gnome in the back corner. For $45, you can have the gnome. More t shirts, sandals. More owl mushroom. Wooden snowman. Yellowstone Dutton Ranch. It's coming on TV back again. Get a hat. It's a Hallmark Christmas movie watching shirt. We have a Grinch in here. <laughs> that seems about right. 
West Virginia shirts, sweatshirts. Ornaments. Glassware. Stained glass. Pastries and coffee. Portland coffee this year. And here are some places you can sit to enjoy the pastries and coffee. Portland coffee items. Beside the Portland coffee station, you have like a little porch that's always decorated. Super nice. A glitter donut station. Grandma's moto. Squeeze them up, sugar them up, and send them home. Coffee signs beside the coffee station. Very fitting. More coffee signs. And you can smell coffee. And popcorn. <laughs> this is the part of the barn that's divided into sections. Blow molds. Good selection of them on the side of the building that we just came from. Some sleds. Lots of sleds. Candy canes. And the outhouse is closed this year. Here are the sleds. They've had a lot of winters sliding down and through the snow. Vintage, antique, lightning guider. Christmas at the barn sign. Ice skates. A welcoming little cocoa station. Things for sale. Hell is anyone? Coffee mugs, tea mugs. Christmas trees in here are beautiful. You have the hay bales behind it, stacked to the ceiling. Makes it look really nice. More Christmas trees with ornaments for sale. Fireplaces around. Suitcases. Santa section. Christmas trees. They're glittering. <laughs> Wooden trucks. Santa scared me. It's moving. Now this is the room with lots of Santas. <laughs> We've decided they kind of look like the little Grinch legs. In a section that has like kitchenware and glasses. Vintage. Not a vintage stove. Price? Doesn't say it's in sold. Vintage kitchen table with chairs. California King bed frame, $100. So, seven dollar egg basket. The sun and moon. Forty five dollars for the sun and moon. Cows.
window frame with a pickup. Some dolls. More gals. And a horse. Really old high chair. Kitchen. And it's all for sale. And if you were looking out at the farmhouse, this is what you might see. Kitchen section. Close pens. And it's Roger. People get me working, huh? I am. <laughs> Thought maybe we wouldn't see you, but we got to see you. Welcome to Whoville. And we're entering the Whoville. Lots of Grinch items. With a pink Christmas tree. Pink lamp. We have some toys. Some games. Stuffed animals. We have green plates and bowls. Lots of green. Grinch style green. Christmas tree coming out of the chimney. This room is cool. Grinch stockings. It's a crooked Grinch tree. Merry Christmas. And this room leads to the room that we started in the beginning with. Up a ramp. And through the door. We're on our way to go find something to eat. In this room, there are painted rocks. Really nice looking painted rocks. On the porch, there are lots of items. On the walls, and in the baskets. The boys are serving popcorn that you can smell all over the place. More of the wreaths. And in the middle of all of this, there is another tent. We almost missed it. This is the stinking cute tree section, full of trees. They're made out of doors. Display of ladders with the trees around. Table with angels. Little teeny tiny trees. The row of buildings with their lights. The pavilion in the middle for photos. We just got ours taken. How many vendors um, supply oh, everything? A, uh, there's a bunch of vendors. And how did you all get together? Um, actually, uh, we, we just met. Well, I met that they've been doing it for a while, even before I came here. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm, I'm with uh, Kelly Street who worked there at uh, the Ford dealership. Oh, okay. Yeah, they, she knew I liked mm -hmm. antiques and stuff. So mm -hmm. uh, she said, hey, uh, from COVID year, we had an opening. So oh, okay. That's what I was going to ask. How long have you been doing it? I've been here five years. Oh, so. Yeah, the, 
folks have had a good time. That's great. <laughs> what type of items do you have? I do mostly antiques. In which building is uh, your? Most of the stuff's in here. I mean, it's all spread out because everybody's stuff gets spread out all over. Uh, the, the ladies, when they bring the stuff in, I told them it's funny to watch because they'll bring everything in and then it looks like ants on a piece of, you know, a piece of sugar or something. They're running out different pieces. <laughs> and then once they'll get in one spot, they're like, oh, okay, this looks good. And then they'll find something else and then they'll switch it out. So it gets switched a bunch of different things. Time. You can get some. But yeah, these ladies, these ladies are amazing. And where where are you from? Uh, Gladesville. Gladesville. Yes, and what's your first name? Uh, Dawn. Dawn. Okay, what's the initials on your items for sale? Uh, DWH. This is the building he says most of his stuff is in, but it's spread throughout. 7.36 p.m. and the line is pretty long. Closes at 8. We're waiting in line so we can check out. As you check out, there's candy apples, $10 a piece, lots of different flavors. In between the checkout stations are shelves with cookies and treats. Sassy Gals gourmet treats. This annual event is held in November. Christmas at the Barn has a Facebook page with the directions which they suggest not to follow GPS. You can start your holiday shopping and get in the holiday spirit. Lots of neat photo opportunities too. As a reminder, remember to leave pets at home and lesser service animals and no smoking. It's very dry and it's on a hay ridden facility. We always enjoy coming to Christmas at the barn. And we're leaving the parking lot. It's so magical. There's a lot of work put into this. The moon is greeting us. And we appreciate it. You have just watched a Joe Garbert Studio video.